problem. Hey everybody, this is Alchemist, and it's been a while since I loaded up Silent Line because I recorded a lot. It's actually, like, the last time I recorded Armored Core was weeks ago. Like, weeks and weeks ago. It's been a while. So now I'm faced with a problem, and that problem is, what the hell was my last save? I've got, like, two saves with 13 sorties, and I don't know which one to pick. I'm also using a new microphone. I've got a new, um... Oh, shit. I don't... Whatever. It's a, it's a new microphone. It's a better microphone. Can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. It's not a blue mic. It's something else. Hopefully, get some better sound out of this thing. There is a bit of an echo. I have a little bit of a acoustic foam that I'm going to set up. It's not set up yet. So, we'll see where that goes. We'll see how... How well that works. It doesn't cost very much. Cheap stuff. And yes, I have I have not put WD-40 on this chair as I should have. So you're going to hear you're going to hear just groan and complain because this is an old old chair. Nothing I can do about that. Well, there is something I can do about it. It's called WD-40, but I don't. I have none on me. It was the microphone or the WD-40. Maybe not. Could have been. I still can't decide which save file to load. So, the last time I played this game was uh, with Fighting Apophis, and that didn't go well for me at all. So, I need to figure out how to beat him. I'm going to load the last one. I'm going to see where that puts us. Load this file. Also, enjoy, enjoy like, choosing files to load and save reliably in Armored Core, because uh, this will be a luxury later. So Apophis should be Calamity. No, it was the first one. It was the first one. I, I done fucked up. Data load. I went with my instincts, and my instincts were wrong. That's the first time that's ever happened in these. <laughs> okay, so should be Apophis. Yeah, all right. All right, we have our save file. So, the... There is a part of me that does not want to face Apophis with Op Intensify. I got I gotta be honorable about this. You know, I, like I have to, I have to fight him honorably. But at the same time, like that's the that's the armored core player in me. That's the that's the armored core. That's the old Raven in me. But the Let's Player in me wants to get this shit done with. <laughs> the Let's Player in me wants to be wants to get this done. So we're gonna go ahead and slap on the Sky Eye because Ugh. It's worse. It's from every way. What the hell? It's got super. It's super drainy. It's got less armor, it's got less defensive points. Is there anything it's got that's better? Uh, shell. It's got better shell defense. It's got slightly less energy defense. It's got better cooling. Let's see, system recovery, high. Uh, it's got area, place, and name, which is important. It's got a biosensor, which is not as important in this game. It's more important in 3 when you're dealing with, like, weapons. It's really important in Nexus. Because you deal with weapons... You deal with, uh, biological weapons a lot. Uh, it's got no ECM canceller. Neither does this one. 360 radar range. This is a wider radar range. Interval 66. Interval 56. So this is a, this is a faster radar. About the only good thing... It, 
it's got better armor. It's got better shell defense. It's got better cooling. And it's lighter. That is it. That's all the Sky Eye has going for it. So I'm, I'm torn between this decision of being faithful to the old design. Or... Like, like being faithful to what... Magic Bullet was. Or... Not designing it like a moron. Because <laughs> it was an off intensify AC. I was pretty much relying on it. And I don't want to rely on it because I'm not going to have it for very long. You don't have, like, this is the last game you can have up intensify in. This is the last game you have plus benefits in because they are gone in Nexus. Like, you have a couple things like blade beams that are, like, default. That are made, like, default. Like, you can fire blade beams whenever. You don't need op intensify for it. But the increased generator performance, the increased radiator performance, firing back-mounted weapons without kneeling, all of that shit is gone in Nexus, and it stays gone. So, I might just decide to sort of enjoy it while I can, because uh, it's not going to last very long after this. Energy is a problem with this AC, because it is not using... It is not using a solid exceed orbit, which I really thought would have shown up by now. But apparently not. And I'm certain they show up after this asshole. So, if we're going to use Op Intensify, we're going to use Op Intensify to its fullest. So, let's see what we got. We got grenades... The thing about these grenades, it's got a really small lockbox, and I have proven that I am shit with it. That said, it is really fast direct damage. Let's see what the store's got. We could try that lightweight slug gun. I'm pretty sure that the core I need is behind this asshole. Like, the core that I am desperately waiting to get, I have to get past this motherfucker to get to it. So this is basically, this is basically like having, like, a left arm shot, like a right arm shotgun on your back. At least, it is if you have Op Intensify equipped. If not, it's just kind of, you're just kind of fucked. Ugh. Really what a thought. Yeah, I'm gonna get these, because with Op Intensify equipped, I can keep this going for as long as I need, so long as I'm not being stupid with the Exceed Orbits. Let me edit this and cut straight to me being stupid with Exceed Orbits. <laughs> cut, cut straight to me digging my own grave with the Exceed Orbits. Okay, I'm not gonna be that big on missiles. There are some, There is a high act to missile launcher in this game that's quite nice. Two missiles per lock on. Okay, that seems that seems good. Something with a quick lock. Okay. I want that solid core. I want that solid EO core. That solid EO core will make so many problems go away. I said that really weird. Go away. Okay, second save slot. Remember where we parked this time. Okay, let's try this guy again. By this guy, I mean the... I actually don't know what the hell to call these guys. Do they have a name? Unknown AC, basically, is is all I rem is all I'm remembering. Like white, like white ACs or whatever. 
I don't think they were ever, like, I can't remember them being given a formal name. The name I keep coming up with is Scavenger, but that's from, like, Armored Core 5. They, they're basically the same thing as the Scavengers. They're, they're there to dick you over at the worst possible time. That's what that's their purpose. That's why they show up when they do. So, the game continues if you fail this mission, and I'm fairly certain you're meant to fail this mission. Because otherwise, the game would simply, you just get a game over. If this were a plot mission that you had to clear. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to fail this. But, uh, I'm gonna try and win this anyways. Because of an oversight, our first service, Mirage is aware of the area surrounding the reward is... Like, you have no consorts, no backup whatsoever, and then this guy shows up after you've already been through a real tough fight. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to lose. At least on your first playthrough. After you're, you've built, like, a godlike AC, I'm pretty sure you can, like, get through this really easy. Oh, I'm moving. I'm moving and I'm intercepting. Okay, so that fire is real slow. Where you at? Where you at, bitch? Whoop! Oh wow! Raven, we're tracking the satellite's progress now. Holy shit! It will be in range soon. Watch yourself. Yeah, let's try and wrap this up before that satellite does. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice... Woo! Oh, that fucks him right up! Nice! Oh, yes, this missile launcher is so good! Cannon burst imminent. Keep moving. Oh my god. Oh my god! Too much! That's way too much! Fuck! That was a lot of beams! That was a shitload of fire coming down on me! Shit! Shit! Guys, this is a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. Okay, I need you to die. Oh, I got hit. I got hit by that bad. I'm about to, like, fucking exit the area. Game, I need you to fucking chill with the lasers, please. Holy shit. Oh my god. Fucking hell. Where are you? Oh, you fast motherfucker! Would you fucking... Unidentified target detected. Oh, there he is. The oh! Is withdrawing. Finish off those you can. Where are you? Where are you? I can see you. Hey, bitch. Hey, asshole. I see you there. And I have no way to get to you. Who the fuck? Why are you not going for the other guy? You're clearly here to destroy everyone. Why am I chasing you? It 
Eat shit. Eat this MG-800. Have all of it. Sack of shit. Take the entire goddamn magazine. message finds you alive and well, Raven. The following is my report on what was learned during your most recent mission. The MG-800 is broke as fuck. That's what we learn. The satellite weapon you encountered was most likely put into service around the same time that Laird came into being. Its purpose is obviously to defend the borders of the Silent Line. The unknown units that have been wreaking havoc on outlying facilities would also seem to serve a similar purpose. What I can't figure out, though, is what are they protecting and why are they still protecting it? You don't put those kinds of assets in place for no reason at all. Hmm. Good questions. Greetings, Raven. I've recently made the move from MT Operator to AC Pilot, and though I am still getting accustomed to the change, I can't say enough about the unit's performance. Please get in touch if you find yourself in need of a partner. Ronin. Okay. We'll check you out. Ow! I'm not. I'm not kidding. My thumbs hurt like hell after that. Matter of shape. I got. I gotta do thumb ups. I, I gotta do some thumb ups. Get that. Get that muscle back. Get that. Get those thumb muscles going like they've ever had time to go away. <laughs> <laughs> 